liking this stage. Right. And you got to feel like it slightly gives Tweak that, you know, canon lore advantage here being on this stage. Got to be careful with stuff like that, man. The out-of-game uh, out factors can sometimes matter. Let's see, we got an up throw into up air, and Tweak has got to watch his composure. Keep in mind, he SD'd that last game with an air dodge, and the way that game ended, you know he's frustrated. Right. Tweak has been known to sort of lose himself in his emotions in the past. He's gotten much better at that as time has gone on. He's matured quite a bit For as a sure. player but you don't want to see it happen here on this big stage. Absolutely not. And uh, the dash attack almost catching him and taking him off the stage, but Ivysaur, of course, with a little bit more weight to him, he's going to be able to hang on to that stock by re-grabbing the ledge will not help you out here. Glutony smacking him off. Very scary stuff at 70% only on this Wario. And you got Squirtle out. Going to have a lot of trouble finding a stock. Here we go. We got the fourth throw trying to attack on a little bit more damage, create space. We can switch to Ivysaur. Another air dodge from Glutiny and another escape. This dude is Houdini because he keeps getting away with it. It's nuts. And the platform 45%, extension. He's getting that up air. I almost thought that was a walk, but no, the Ivysaur up air. Gonna catch this man and chasing oh, oh, oh. him still. Oh. No way. Not again. Not it's again. Charizard out. It's okay. Tweak a master. It doesn't matter if you almost SD. If you have an opportunity to save yourself, you gotta find it and Tweak will. There's the up smash from Tweak. That'll do it, but I don't know if you saw it. Uh, Wario is beginning to glow. I think that was yeah, his bike coming half back. Half waft but is probably on. Yeah, half waft is good. Oh, no. Okay, that could have been it if he ran a little bit closer, but I think he wants to save the full one for the third stock. Exactly. Doesn't want to expend it. Totally understand. Right, and there it is already. Whether he uses it or not, not sure. But either way, it's Squirtle's turn to get some combo in here. Gonna miss the hit, though, on that forward air. Very rare for Tweak, you know, to miss any of those uh, parts of the string in that combo. The oh, back wow. air pit, super unsafe, gonna get grabbed for that one. Yeah, not even spaced at all. Tries to land the wheelie on him, which might have KO'd Squirtle. That's an oh, incredibly goodness. strong attack. Horrible way to go out right there. Don't get run over like that poor dog. So right now, 71 to 95. Oh, Squirtle was able to actually hide inside of the bike, yep. but doesn't matter right there. He's gonna do the get off me up B, knocking Squirtle away, but a great forward air to answer back for that whiff back air. Once again from Blue Tony. I feel like sometimes when he has the waft and he doesn't want to expend it, he goes for a lot of unsafe options. Yeah. Totally see that. Gets the dash tag, but not enough to KO. Got to switch over. Ooh, Gets he away with it. Yeah, yeah I like that razor. time move. it for once, actually. Lutini usually waiting out the Pokemon switch, but not going to catch him. Warrior with no KO throws. He's got to do it the old-fashioned way. Right. Oh, very low. Oh, yeah, you saw the oh, down air for yes, Tweak. You did. He wanted that so bad. He wanted to switch to Charizard, but he couldn't do it. Glutiny going all the way off there with a forward air. Yikes, and this is a horrible spot right now. Already scooped up in the combo. Got the grab too. Up air, the platform's here, but good on Tweak to jump away. Jab, jab. How you landing, Glutiny? This is still a rage or a scary Charizard, man, and you're at such a high percent. He can catch you at any moment and take you out. But you got to remember the waft. Glutiny playing with it. Tweak knows to be afraid. Tweak not exp Oh, wow! Glutiny expending the waft in a very just unconfirmable situation. Yeah, and you know what? I think Tweak had the read from a million miles ahead. He's like, if I land directly next to him, he's going to try to hit the waft. I'll go into shield, and it worked out perfectly in his favor. Yeah, because usually Tweak was landing with an aerial unsafely or something, but this time uh, just lands and immediately shields. So good by Tweak. 41 to 102. He's going to throw the bike in the air, using all of Charizard's jumps to get out of that. Going to back air the bike so he doesn't get hit by it, but that means he's going to get grabbed. 138 to 141. Glutiny with a stock lead. Woo! Oh, Barely no. avoiding that down air, which could have knocked him off to the right side and lost that stock here. But Tweak spacing no. himself, it doesn't matter. Dash attack will take it even on Charizard. Now it's 2-2. Tweak got to be kicking himself for how game three ended. Everybody in the arena knew the grab was coming. Tweak going a little crazy for that, starting to fall apart here. It's very unfortunate. And I think the way that game three went might have been just the bell tolling for the rest uh. of the set because the SD at stock one, the ending of stock three. This is so scary, but he's sticking with Pokemon Trainer. That's important because keep in mind, Tweak has other characters in his pocket, but he's yeah, staying on this a one. a lot of other characters. And you got to see the look on Tweak's face right now. We, in the past, like you said, have seen him with a much worse mental game where he'd be so frustrated, angry maybe, looking a little sad, but he looks confident and comfortable. And we're switching off of Pokemon Stadium too, finally. Town and City is the choice. Interesting to see how these platforms benefit both players. Stage is a bit more dynamic. More stuff's going to happen. We saw somebody uh, using the platform with a great effect earlier. Can't quite remember the, um, the... I think it was Glutiny, actually, against Raito. It was the forward air. Yeah. So I'm interested to see how he uses that here. 
But right now, he's going to have to try to get out of this quick Squirrel combo, racking him up to 64 already. And Ivysaur's out. Oh, he almost got underneath him for that oh. Nair into up air or up B. Didn't find it, though. Gets the up tilt, gets the fine whip, but not enough. Doesn't Ooh. get the sweet spot. He's trying to find a way to knock Lutni back off the stage. And Lutni just very much looking like Wario, man. He looks so strong until yeah. he isn't. This character is just full of highs and lows. That and is Lutni a fact. Could not get in here. And a great drill down there right here. Trying to find an opportunity to start comboing Tweak himself, but currently just trapped off the stage. And then he tried to immediately up smash out of that Pokemon switch. So quick with it. I think it's pretty bold to go Charizard here. Just keep in mind that Wario has so many low percent combos, but it doesn't matter. And the immediate switch to Squirtle, I love this choice because now he can get those 0% combos exactly. and he will not be comboed as much. Yeah, he's going to find this man as soon, oh, as soon as he can, but Gluten, he's going to reverse it on him. Got that up tilt, but Squirtle quickly with the grab. Here's the back air as well. Oh, I love the space Wait, away. He knew how Gluten he was going to try to land. Just going to fade back and get the grab. Gluten down an entire stock here. Excellent air dodge for Tweak. Lutney just has not found the answer to that. He figured out the Pokemon Switch, and Tweak figured out that he figured out the Pokemon Switch. Right. And we are playing a different game now in Game 5. Absolutely. Tweak playing a lot safer. You see so many fadebacks. This is just like what we needed to see from Samsora earlier to yes. adapt. It's just backing up a little bit instead of pushing too much on the advantage state. And again, Tweak getting too close mm. to that bike. That's, I think, the third or fourth time that he's tried to hit Wario off the bike, but he's failed. The timing has got to be very tight. Oh, and I thought the platform was close enough for him to get the up throw right there, but yeah, I not guess quite. not. Going to throw him forwards, and now those platforms are gone. No early up throw kill for him. Wario uh, is just a bit heavy. I was going to say, I think it, I don't know. Maybe? We'll see. No, uh, yeah. it, not even close. Did right. you see the radar? Exactly. Jeez. Okay, but the fair will be enough scratching that poor man out of here. And now on his last stock, 0% on Tweak here. He's got the grab and the sh low percent combos as usual starting up. Yeah, this is demoralizing if you're Klutni. You were so oh. strong just a few minutes ago. You were looking so good. And now Tweak, the second best player on the planet, is just rolling over you. Yeah. Klutni having something to say, though. Yeah, the way he snatched him out of the air with that command grab. And you know Klutni might be behind, but he's a player who never gets shook at the oh. disadvantage. Look at him right now pushing for this flare blitz. Excuse Amazing. Me? Amazing flare blitz. He knew he had to get out of there. He knew he was one of the few characters that could escape. Right, but he's doing it again. Still, yes. Still in a horrible spot, having to use that, like you said, once more to try to escape from Glutony's pressure. Ooh, nice down tilt. And that shot came with that oh, bad DI. No. Took him out of this and at 57%. Waft almost on the deck. Oh, no, 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 no. This he is so now. scary for Tweak. Glutony has rallied back the strongest I've ever seen. He has an entire continent behind him. Can he defeat Tweak here Ooh. and do it big? <laughs> Okay, that Nair, and I don't think he had the full walk, but a half might have done it, but okay, falling through the platform with that up air follow-up of the down air. Can he catch him? But no, no walk. He's on it. He didn't have walk. He might have had half walk, but it wouldn't be enough. Gets the back air. He's going to try to throw out the razor leaf. It knocks him off the bike, but it's not enough. He reads the roll in, and Tweak is going to grand finals. The read from our man Tweak catching him off the roll. You had to put everything into that forward smash, because if he had missed, it would be a different story on that stage right now, but Tweak, oh my goodness, with the excellent happy little pop-off, gonna stand up, wind up his controller, and go into Grands. Tweak, oh my god. With the pop-off too, he knows how close that was. 